Hey everyone, I just got out of the shower and I wanted to do a step-by-step -step video on how to make thinner hair look fuller. So this is going to be a volumizing type tutorial. Now, there's probably a lot of other people out there that do things a lot differently and some people have thicker hair and some people have shorter layers, so everyone knows how to work their hair according to their hair type and haircut. But me, I have long, thin, fine hair, and I don't get too much volume because of the length, I think, because it's very, very long. So I'm going to show you some tips and little tricks that I do to get my hair look a little bigger. Step one, I like to wash my hair. My hair doesn't do anything unless it's clean. Most people say that their hair won't do anything unless the hair is dirty for a day or two, but my hair just isn't like that. I have to have clean hair for it to do anything. So step one, I wash my hair. Step two, this is my biggest beauty secret of all time. Look at that shine in my forehead. Can you see your reflection? Huh? How do you look? This is from Walmart. It's like a dollar or two. I've been using it, oh my god, for too long. Seriously. Um, they also have another one that's like in a red bottle and it's a little differently shaped and it's strawberry scented but I stick to this one because I just like this one. I love the smell of the other one and it's just as good but I always just grab this one. I don't know why. But it's Suave Kids Hair Detangler and it's so awesome. Double Dutch Apple ah, and tear free. <laughs> okay, so anyway, here's my hair. Look at this hair. This hair looks like there's nothing to it. I mean, seriously, is that like five strands or what? Honestly. Uh, so, I'm going to spray my hair. This is good for kids or people of all ages. Now, the second step is one of my favorite products. It is 24-hour body foaming mousse from Tresemme, Tresemme, ooh la la. And what I do, I shake it, and then I squeeze a dollop of daisy as much as I want to, and I put it everywhere. I'm going to slap it here. Oops, something just fell on my wall. And I'm just going to rub it all through my head and get it really good at my roots and just spread it all over. Ah, I'm already feeling volumized. Wow. Let me get that little scraping off the wall over there. Put that in here too. We don't want to waste anything. Now, the next thing is a very important step. You folks need to start using stuff like this. It's a heat protector. You blow dry your hair and you curl it and you straighten it all day long and you sit there and abuse your hair. The least you could do is spray something on it to help it just a little bit. So this is VO5 Extreme Style Heat Defense Conditioning Spray. 24 hour anti-frizz. I don't know about that part but it's supposed to protect you and condition so yeah. You just spray that all over your hair. Evenly. Next I take my super duper high powered blow dryer and I blow the crap out of my hair. This is a keratin complex heat therapy blow dryer. It's got a cool button, which I love, and it's got like three different temperatures and three different speeds. So let's get that started. I blow dry my hair a certain way too. I have certain techniques, you know. So I'm gonna blow dry my whole head. Like so. And then I'm going to flip my head. And as I'm blow drying it with my head flipped over, I'm like taking my hand and I'm like doing this. I think if you blow dry with your head flipped over like that, it gives you more volume. Now whether all of this is proven facts, I have no clue, but I swear by it. So whatever. If it works for me, it works for me. Now, it's going to take me a while to blow dry my whole head, so I'm not going to record all that. But I want to say real quick, like, just so you know, I part my hair on the left side 
over but I'm gonna do that in a little bit but um, when it comes to my bangs I'm gonna show you how I blow dry my bangs because I've been asked that a lot and if you just got fresh cut bangs and you don't know what to do with them they're going this way they're going this way you have to tame your bangs you have to train them and show them where you want them to go your hair does not control you you control your hair so I'm gonna show you how I do my bangs as well I like to blow dry them in different directions I like to go left then I like to go right then I like to go left then I like to go up and then I like to go down <laughs> Okay, I cannot get this lighting right, but whatever. I'm just going to go with the flow right now. There's a couple extra things I do. Now, this is the time you pay attention. My hair is not completely dried because I'm going to deal with that in a little bit. But I've pretty much got the top of my hair just where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is this. By the way, I use this awesome thing. It is the coolest ever. Check this out. Watch my bangs. Yo, what's up with that? Huh? Huh? It's the coolest tease and comb ever. It's from Con Air, and I think I got it from Walmart. So anyway, let's brush that out that I just did. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this top little part here. And I'm going to grab from the back, just like at the back of your head. I'm going to brush it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take my teasing comb and I'm going to put it in my head and do that, like that. That's how you tease your hair. And I smooth out the front and then I tease the back. And then, this is what I do. I take this awesome hairspray. It's from Freeze It. It's from Walmart. And it's Fast Drying Original Freeze Hairspray. And so what I'm going to do is spray the place I just teased, and then I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow dry it. Okay, so now that that's done right there, I'm going to take the next layer. Just separating it with my finger. And I'm going to tease it again, smoothing out the front, teasing in the back. Okay, then I'm going to spray. Then I'm going to blow dry. Lay it back. And I'm going to take this last little layer right here. Spray just a little bit. I mean, tease just a little bit. I'm going to spray. And then. I'm going to take this little side over here, tease it, what, spray. Now dry it upward. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this side. And now I'm going to stand up, I'm going to bend over, and blow dry the rest of my hair with my head upside down. And as you can see, I have some awesome volume. Okay? And this is how I'm going to wear my hair for the rest of the day. I'm just kidding. Well, I guess while my curling iron's heating up, I could um, show you my room. Even though it's kind of messy right now because I just made a mess with all my hair products and you know, my towel and stuff, but other than that, everything's clean, so let's check it out. Well, I'll start over here. I have my fan because I cannot sleep without a fan. Here's my bookshelf. I never moved this. This stayed here. 
Oh, look, it's my best friend Debra and me. And I've got some little stickers on there. And up here it says, be the change you wish to see in the world. Down over yonder, I have my Easter basket, which I have not stopped eating since Easter. I put my little stuffed animals here. Over in the corner, I put my television and all my other stuff. And there's my purse. And there's some vacuum lines. Ooh. I put my tall dresser over here. And all those things stayed on the wall. I haven't moved those. And I got stuff up there. And then, um, there's a dog. Hi, Tippy. And that's my bed. It's real messy, I know. Shut it. I love lambs and I love pillows. And I love Tippy. Hello. Okay, so... I put my makeup and stuff over here. This is where I'm going to be doing my makeup from now on. So you'll probably see this view behind you. And you know my bed is hardly ever made. So yeah, you'll see my messy bed. So there's all my makeup and stuff down there. All my makeup brushes. I'll have to show you all that one day. And that's the little seat I sit on while I do my makeup. My closet, you know, it just stayed there. I never moved it. And I did add this up on the wall. My nephew made it for me. It says Bill loves Tutu because he loves me. And here is my big cheesy mess. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. Like, this is all of my curling irons, straighteners, crimpers. I just have way too much. And why it's in an Easter basket, I'll never know. And here's where I was doing this video, actually. I had the camera set up on a picture frame and my Bible. There's the products I used, my phone, and... There goes Deborah again. A princess crown because I'm a princess. And an angel with my name on it because I'm an angel. Duh. And in here, I just threw stuff up in here today. But I have blow dryers and headbands and things like that. And down here, I have a million things from the Defabulous Company. Some extra bottles of fast hair growing shampoo. Talavera silk tablets. I have all kinds of stuff in there. And here I am. Okay, so even though I did all my teasing and spraying and all that, it's not going to mess up even though it's up in a clip. And I'll show you in a little bit how that works. Um, I'm going to curl my entire head using the pink and white spiral Con Air curling iron. Um, I'll post a link down below if you'd like to purchase one. And I'm going to curl my whole head. This is exactly like my black and gold one. It's just an updated version. And I'm probably not going to record me curling my whole head because, I don't know. I mean, what am I going to sit here and talk to you about? Seriously. I guess I could talk to you about some things. I just posted a new video on my other channel. If you want to go watch it, you can. And I have, like, all kinds of videos lined up to be posted. It's true. And my face is like really tight right now because I haven't lotioned it after I got out of the shower. So I feel like the Tin Man. Like I can't smile and I feel like I need to be oiled like the Tin Man. And Tippy is totally staring at me right now. I think she's jealous of my volume. So I know a lot of you are probably going to be wondering like how do I curl my hair after I just teased it like that? But it's pretty simple. You just go around it. Don't brush it out. Just like, here's teasing underneath here, but I'm just going to separate it very gently. And then I'm going to go on about my business as if nothing. Curl it. And then you just lay it down. Don't mess up the teasing that you just did. See, the teasing that I just did is causing this to stick out like that, which is a good thing because that's what we want. We want to make it look like we have volume, especially if you're one of those kind of people with thin hair like me. You want to create an illusion. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating an illusion that I have thick hair, but I really don't. I think it's pretty awesome. So I just finished curling my hair, and now what I'm going to do is my usual, bend my head over and flip it.
and voila! I have hair that looks voluminous, right? Looks like I have body. And another tip is to take a comb like this and like lift your hair up with it and spray all over your head. Like that. Now don't worry. If you feel like you have too much volume, it'll fall down a little bit. Like I come out of the bathroom the other day and my dad goes, whoa. I was like, what is it? He's like, I don't know. So, it'll fall. You just gotta let it fall. Fall into place. See? Now it looks like I have a whole bunch of hair. Even though God knows I really don't. It sure looks like it. And that to me, my friend, is all that matters. Hmm. I'm gonna look crazy, actually. Mufasa. Oh, let's check the back of it. Lots of hair. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. And I hope I was able to help somebody. See you later, alligators.